Civil procedure is the body of law that sets out the rules and standards that courts follow when adjudicating civil lawsuits as opposed to procedures in criminal law matters. These rules govern how a lawsuit or case may be commenced, what kind of service of process if any, is required, the types of pleadings or statements of case, motions or applications, and orders allowed in civil cases, the timing and manner of depositions and discovery or disclosure, the conduct of trials, the process for judgment, various available remedies, and how the courts and clerks must function. Topic. Differences between civil and criminal procedure Some systems, including the English and French, allow governmental persons to bring a criminal prosecution against another person. Prosecutions are nearly always started by the state in order to punish the accused. Civil actions, on the other hand, are started by private individuals, companies or organizations, for their own benefit. In addition, governments or their subdivisions or agencies may also be parties to civil actions. The cases are usually in different courts. However this is distinguished from civil penal actions. In jurisdictions based on English common law systems, the party bringing a criminal charge in most cases, the state is called the prosecution, but the party bringing most forms of civil action is the plaintiff or claimant. In both kinds of action the other party is known as the defendant. A criminal case against a person called Ms. Sanchez would be described as the people v. equals versus against or and sanchez the state or commonwealth v sanchez or the name of the state v sanchez in the united states and r regina that is the queen v sanchez in england and wales but a civil action between ms sanchez and a mr smith would be sanchez v smith if it were started by sanchez and smith v Sanchez if it were started by Mr. Smith though the order of parties' names can change if the case is appealed, most countries make a clear distinction between civil and criminal procedure. For example, a criminal court may force a convicted defendant to pay a fine as punishment for his crime, and the legal costs of both the prosecution and defense. But the victim of the crime generally pursues his claim for compensation in a civil, not a criminal, action. In France and England, however, a victim of a crime may incidentally be awarded compensation by a criminal court judge. Evidence from a criminal trial is generally admissible as evidence in a civil action about the same matter. For example, the victim of a road accident does not directly benefit if the driver who injured him is found guilty of the crime of careless driving. He still has to prove his case in a civil action, unless the doctrine of collateral estoppel applies, as it does in most American jurisdictions. In fact he may be able to prove his civil case even when the driver is found not guilty in the criminal trial, because the standard to determine guilt is higher than the standard to determine fault. However, if a driver is found by a civil jury not to have been negligent, a prosecutor may be stopped from charging him criminally. If the plaintiff has shown that the defendant is liable, the main remedy in a civil court is the amount of money, or damages, which the defendant should pay to the plaintiff. Alternative civil remedies include restitution or transfer of property, or an injunction to restrain or order certain actions. The standards of proof are higher in a criminal case than in a civil one, since the state does not wish to risk punishing an innocent person. In English law the prosecution must prove the guilt of a criminal beyond reasonable doubt, but the plaintiff in a civil action is required to prove his case on the balance of probabilities. Thus, in a criminal case a crime cannot be proven if the person or persons judging it doubt the guilt of the suspect and have a reason not just a feeling or intuition for this doubt. But in a civil case, the court will weigh all the evidence and decide what is most probable. Topic. Civil procedural types Civil procedure is traditionally divided into inquisitorial and adversarial. Topic. Civil procedure by country Australia Brazil Canada England and Wales Germany India Netherlands Romania Scotland United States South Africa Uganda Topic. See also 
Affirmative Defense Civil Justice Fairness Act Criminal Procedure Jurisdiction Latches Objection Prejudice law. Statute of Limitations Summary Judgment Time Constraints Trial de novo Topic. References Topic. External links Civil procedure rules applying to England and Wales Complete text of Federal Rules of Civil Procedure Cornell Univ. Rhode Island Civil Court Rules of Procedure, optimized by a constable from the Law Library at the 6th District Court of Rhode Island.